Hey DC, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Darian. And here are your current events for Friday, September 4th. The Anime Club will have its first meeting of the year Friday, September 11th. Anime Club is open to anyone who, who enjoys watching anime. This year we are viewing two animes, Tokyo Girl Season 1 and The Devil is a Part-Timer. The meeting will take place in Ms. Hardesty's room 207 after school from 3.30 to 4.30. All are welcome to join Friday, September 11th. If you are interested in helping write a bill with the Y Club, please plan to attend a bill author meeting Wednesday after school in Mr. Easley's room. We will be going over some changes to the bill writing process, so it is important to attend. If you absolutely cannot be there, please see Mr. Easley to get what you will miss. FCCLA will have a meeting for new and current members Thursday, September 10th, after school till 4.30 in room 124. Attention students, the DCHS Fall Open House is scheduled for Thursday, September 10th. There will be a pause organization general meeting at 5.30 in the, in the Media Center with, with classroom visits beginning at 6.05. This is a great opportunity for parents to meet teachers and see all the changes in the building. Please make plans to attend. If you are interested in the spring break trip to London and Paris, please see Mr. Easley in room 141 for more information. There are still a few spots remaining, but they will not last long, so be sure to sign up if you are planning to attend. Attention Y Club members, if you are an 11th grader interested in running for governor or a 9th grader interested in running for lieutenant governor at KYA, please see Mr. Easley sometime this week. Attention students, the DCHS football homecoming is scheduled for tonight. Tickets for the dance are $5 and will be on sale during lunch today. Attention students, DCHS Picture Day is Wednesday, September 16th. For more information, see Ms. Amber J. Hall in room 130. Attention students, yearbooks are on sale now 15 minutes before and after school and during all lunch shifts. Students can purchase yearbooks for $55 using cash, check, or debit or credit. Stop by room 130 if you have any questions. Junior Civitan is collecting clothes for the homeless and less fortunate this weekend. If interested, see Deputy Whitford for more information. Attention sophomores and juniors, now is your chance to apply for the Academy for Young Leaders. AYL is a leadership training program in which you will do many fun activities and community service projects with students from the five area high schools. It's a great opportunity to meet awesome people and to become a better leader. Applications are available on the DCPS website under students. You must also have two adult recommendations. Paper applications are available in guidance. Applications are due on September 11th. The PSAT, also known as the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, will be given at DCHS on Wednesday, October 28th in the AUX Gym. This will be the test where juniors can qualify for National Merit Scholarships. The cost for the test is $15 per student. Checks may be payable to DCHS. Students should register by Friday, October 9th. Attention students, a college and career expo will be held Sunday, September 27th from 1 to 4 at the Allensboro Convention Center. It is free admission and over 100 colleges, universities, and vocational schools will be in attendance. A free mini iPad will be given away every hour. On Tuesday, September 8th, class officers and freshman student council elections will be held. If you have any questions, see Mr. Crop in room 225. Hey, D.C. Hello, freshmen. I'm Evan Clark, your student body president, and I'm back with more news for those who are interested in running for student council representative this year. I know that many of you must have questions about how to go about campaigning for the office, and that is what the student council would like to demonstrate to you. Hey, how was your test? Uh, it was, it was, uh, I don't want to talk about Silent! How was your test? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, it was kind of bad. I don't want to talk guys, about guys, it. Guys, guys, um, I'm running for student council. Will you guys sign a petition? Oh, yeah. I have 25 signatures. So. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Sure, man. Sure. Okay, guys, you got your assignment. Be quiet. Sit at your seat. Do your assignment. I'm on the computer right now. Mr. Clark! I have a petition for you to sign. I'm hurting right now. All right, gentlemen, you have your assignment. Are there any questions? Hey, Mr. Clark. Um, yes. I'm running for student council. Uh, and I That's was, sweet. Yeah, that was cute, right? Anyway, I was uh, wondering if you would sign this because, you know, I've had you for the past couple of years, and uh, I feel like I know you well enough for you to give me a good recommendation. I'd be happy to sign it for you. Thank you. 
this is my corner. What are you talking about? This is my corner. It's not of yours. It's mine. Oh, hey, Eli. Hey, Max, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm campaigning for a student council representative. Oh, what are oh, you really? doing? I'm, I'm running for you. Oh, hey, Eli. Hey, Max. What are you doing? I, I'm about to go and start campaigning for a freshman representative. Oh, really? Me too. Oh, really? That's, that's interesting. We can campaign together. Great yeah. minds think alike. Woo! Hey, DC. Vote for me, Max Smith, for your freshman student council representative. Because Tyler's awful, and I'm actually the best. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. I'm running for your student council freshman representative. Hey Max! Oh, hey Tyler. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Hey, say hello to your mother for me, right? Okay, awesome. Right. Hey guys, how are you doing? Say hello to your mother for me. As you know, I'm running for your freshman class representative. I'd just like to let you know I do the best job I can. I'm involved throughout the school, throughout doing many things. I play sports, I play football, basketball, soccer, and hockey. And uh, what else do I play? Oh, I play all of them. Anywho, I'm also a musician. I also am the most interesting man in the world. Hey, Christian, how are you? Hey, man, how, how are you doing? Hey, say hello. Hello. say hello to your mother for me. All right. All right. Anyway, I'd just like to let you know that I'm running for your freshman class representative, so please vote for me. Thank you. Hey, freshmen. I'm Evan Clark, your student body president, and I'm back with my dog, Cotton. Isn't she precious? But you know, freshmen, you are too. You're precious to this school by showing your school spirit and running for student council representatives this year. Check out Miss Kimmy Horn's room for the petitions of the details you will need to run on September 8th. We'd love to see you running and showing your school spirit and being precious like this dog. Thank you. Here's what's going on today in D.C. The Panthers soccer team will be traveling to take on Castle High School beginning at 6. The Panthers football team is hosting Warren East beginning at 7. The homecoming ceremony will be during halftime with the dance beginning at 9. That's all your news for today, D.C. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Tuesday. Stay classy, D.C. Hey DC, I'm John. And I'm Jed. And here are your sports news for the week. Last Tuesday, the Lady Panthers cross country team had five runners finish in the top 16 to earn first place at Yellow Creek Park in the Kentucky-Indiana Border Clash. The DC girls were led by Carly Hoffman in fifth, Olivia Wilson in ninth, Kaylee Shanley in tenth, and Jennifer Maxwell in sixteenth. Also last Tuesday, the boys cross country team placed second behind Tell City at Yellow Creek Park in the Kentucky-Indiana Border Clash. Tyler Dobbs finished eighth out of 370 individuals. Other D.C. scorers were Kobe Azell coming in 14th, Zan McClellan in 18th, Hunter Kurz 29th, and Dante Millay 31st. In Lady Panthers soccer news, the Lady Panthers took home a Kraken County and came out on top 8-2 to two on Saturday. Leading the way was Eliza Highland and Scott Walden with two goals. Natalie Hinchcliffe with one goal and four assists, Katie Buskell, Madeline Peebler, and Rachel Taylor all with one goal. Gracie Kemplin added two saves. On Tuesday night, the Lady Panthers defeated district opponent Paulo with a 10-1 victory. Leading the way was Natalie Hinchcliffe with four goals, two assists, and Katie Buskell with two goals and one assist. On a Thursday night, the Lady Panthers defeated Henderson County by a score of 3-2. In Panthers soccer action, on Tuesday night, the Panthers took on the number one team in the state Tuesday night and lost a tough battle 4-2. Leading the way for the Panthers was Brian Winkler and Justin Ratliff with one goal and Ryan Free with two assists. On Thursday night, the Panthers took on our tribe of Apollo, defeating the Eagles 9-0. In volleyball news, the Lady Panthers volleyball team defeated district rival Owensboro Catholic Tuesday night at home with three sets to one victory. Leading the way was Emma Johnson with 12 kills, 2 blocks, Jalen McEwen with 13 kills and 6 digs, and Mary Grace Alexander added 5 kills, 3 blocks, and 2 digs. On Thursday night, the Lady Panthers defeated Caldwell County in 3 sets as they remained perfect by running the record to 9-0 on the season. 
In golf news, the Panthers also competed in the Owensboro Catholic Invitational last Saturday. They placed fifth out of ten teams with the team score of 326. Individual scores were Daniel Love with a 77, Jesse Holton with an 80, Harrison Spain with an 84, and Chris Solomon with an 85. On Monday, the Lady Panthers golf team took on OHS, Apollo, and Ohio County. Leading the way for the Lady Panthers was Grace Hetty with a 45, Maddie Van Holst with a 51, and Lauren Cross with a 55. And finally, this past Friday night, the Panthers football team defeated Owensboro Catholic in overtime with a score of 27-21. Leading the way for the Panthers was Chase LaCroix with a winning touchdown and 123 yards on 29 carries. And John Stratton had one touchdown off a 59-yard pass from Adam Bouchard. Jordan Lee led the way for the Panthers defense with 10 tackles, and Jonathan Powell had seven pass breakups for the Panthers. Tonight is homecoming as the Panthers take on Warren East starting at 7 p.m. with the ceremonies taking place at halftime. That's all your sports news for the week, D.C. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Smile, baby. Live through the struggling. Life's an everyday. Awesome. I hustle every day in life. Thinking back. Taking